Are you tired of spending hours analyzing charts and struggling to find profitable trades? Well, get ready to take your trading game to the next level with the Open Close Cross Scalping Strategy, the secret weapon for traders with an incredible win rate that can revolutionize your approach to the markets. I'm going to be explaining this strategy and how we use these indicators in conjunction with price action. As always, we will have lots of practical examples to fully understand these amazing trading indicators. OCC strategy is a very powerful strategy. This stands for Trend Average Price. It is very beneficial for traders as it takes into account both price and volume. Now let's see what this strategy is all about. This is what our chart is going to look like when we are done setting up our indicators. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto because price action remains relatively consistent across different assets. I'm going to be using the Bitcoin USDT chart in a 15 minute time frame to explain this strategy. First of all, let's see what trading tools we will be using for this strategy. The green and red color indicator we see on the chart is called the OCC indicator, and the indicator at the bottom is called OCC alert histogram. I'll quickly cross these indicators out so I can explain the setting of the chart in detail from the beginning. As we know, we will be using two indicators in this strategy. Let's add the first indicator to our chart. So in the Indicators tab, we will search for Open Close Cross Strategy and add this indicator to our chart. Now we have to change some settings for this indicator. In the Style section, uncheck these three options. After this is done, We'll access the input section and change multiply for alternate resolution to 5. Change MA type to SMA, MA period to 16, and finally offset for ALMA to 12. I have generally found that setting the strategy resolution to 3-5x that of the chart you are viewing tends to yield the best results regardless of which MA option. You may choose if any but can cause a lot of false positives to be aware of this using one of the smoothed MA helps reduce false. Positives, don't aim for perfection, just aim to get a reasonably snug fit with the OCC band with good runs of green and red using SMA 8 to 10, gives a good fit option to either use basic open and close series data, or pick your poison with a wide array of MA types optional stop loss and target. Profit for damage mitigation, if desired can be toggled on and off positions get taken automatically following a crossover, which is why it's better to set the resolution of the script greater than that of your chart so that the trades get taken sooner rather than later. If you make use of the stop's target profit, be sure to take your time tweaking the values. Cutting it too fine will cost you profits, but keep you safer while letting them loose could lead to more drawdown than you can handle. So after this indicator is applied, we have to apply another indicator on the chart. We will search Open Close Cross Alert R6, and after that, add this indicator to the chart. This indicator plots the difference factor between the close and open moving averages, and gives a good indication of the strength of the move. Now let's see how we will use these trading tools to make amazing profits. So for a sell trade to be valid, first of all, we want the OCC indicator to give a cross signal. For that, the market needs to cross and close below the OCC indicator line, and the OCC indicator should be red in color. After this condition is fulfilled, we want the OCC alert indicator histogram to be red color also. And finally, when these two conditions are met, we will look for our final confirmation. And for that, the market should form a bearish candle. So if all these conditions are fulfilled, we can safely enter a buy trade. So I will open a sell position here. Our stop loss will be placed at the high of the previous market, which will be right here. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. And you can see the market has completely hit the target. If you guys want amazing free buy and sell trades like these, make sure to join my Telegram group. The link is in the description. If you have not understood these rules, no problem. We'll be going through multiple examples later in the video. But before that, let's go through the rules for entering a buy trade through this strategy. Here, just before this sell trade, the indicators gave us a pretty good buy signal. 
So, for our first confirmation, we look at the OCC indicator for a cross signal. For that, we want the price to cross and close above the OCC line. Keep in mind, the OCC line should be green in color. After that, we will look below at the color of the histogram, which should be green in color, just like it is here. And for the final confirmation, we will need the market to form a bullish candle. As all the conditions are fulfilled here, we can open a buy position. So we will enter this trade here. Our stop loss will be placed at the low of the previous market. And the risk to reward ratio will be set to 1 to 1 1.5. And you can see the market has completely hit the target after some time. This strategy is so simple and effective at the same time. Now let's go through some more examples of buy and sell trade so you guys can understand the strategy better. Here we can see the market gave us an OCC indicator cross signal. The OCC indicator is red in color. Our next step for this strategy will be to check the color of the OCC alert indicator. And we can see the histogram is also red in color. And finally, we can see the market formed a bearish candle. So we will enter this trade at this candle. Our stop loss will be set at the recent swing high. And for a risk, to reward ratio of one and a half. This trade would also have ended in a profit. If you also want amazing trades like these for free, make sure to join my Telegram group. The link is in the description. Let's find the next trade. Here the market gives us an OCC indicator cross signal and the OCC indicator is green in color. Please keep in mind if any of the explained conditions are not fulfilled, we will not enter that trade and stay away from it as it will most probably be a false signal. So after we see the OCC indicator has turned green, we will look at the color of the OCC alert histogram. And if this would have been red, we would have not entered this trade. But we can see it's green and the market formed a bullish candle above, so we can enter this trade. Our stop loss as explained will be set at the recent swing low and the risk to reward ratio will be set at 1 to 1.5. And after some time, this trade would have ended in a profit. I hope you have understood this strategy well now. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.